Hello everyone, it's Fred again from Notes of a Nomad. I think this is video number 21. It's been a couple of weeks since I recorded a video. I've been moving around, moved off the boat, and now I'm staying with some family also on Vancouver Island. And they've been kind to put up with me for a while. The picture I'm showing is from 1962 in Paris, when Ken, the fellow who owns the boat that I was on until recently, and I, were hitchhiking around Europe. And this is a picture that I managed to find on a 35 millimeter slide when I was able to scan it. And it is of a metro station, uh, Havre Comartin. You can see the lights uh, on the building. And I believe that's a large department store, which looking up on the internet now, this particular metro stop, there's a couple of large department stores Printemps, which I believe is spring, the spring in French, and Gallery Lafayette. So it's probably one of those two department stores that we can see. And there's a, another picture that I can share just looking the other way down the street uh, of the obviously the same department store with the same lights. It was getting near Christmas, uh, definitely in December, I believe, or early December, most likely. And it brings to mind how the world is changing. And this is now whatever, 57 years ago, approximately, when I was there. And this particular station, this metro station, was about 57 years old, I think, started in 1904. And uh, it's about 58 years after it started that this picture was taken. So it's over a hundred and something years old. And the world is changing, and which brings to mind the theme of today's session, which is lifelong learning. And uh, the reason that comes to mind is that lifelong learning is a wonderful skill that we should all practice, particularly in today's things are changing so much and we know so much more than we did. For example, when I was at school, what did we know about the space? Well, what we were taught mainly was the planets and that was about it. Uh, recently, I had a young fella talk to me about black holes. He was nine years old and he blew my mind when he started describing black holes. Uh, when I was young, I never heard about a black hole, and I believe that term black hole only arrived in around 1960. And the first black hole was discovered in 2017, and last year was the first photograph of a black hole, which was a big uh, exercise in the internet, and everyone was excited on television seeing the first picture ever of a black hole. And that is why the world is changing. There's so much information. And that's why, as I said earlier, lifelong learning is a skill that is wonderful. Our young people need to practice it because the world is changing so much that what they learn today is so much more information by the time they become adults and get into the workforce. But even at our age, or my age particularly, lifelong learning is fantastic uh, because it enhances the quality and satisfaction of your life and uh, you know with you're doing ongoing and self-motivated voluntarily learning things about what's going on in the world it helps you in many ways it gives you a lot of self-confidence and improves the quality of your life and uh, helps enhance your understanding of what's going on in the world and you can have a lot of fun so this is why I think lifelong learning is uh, a great skill that we should all develop and it helps us cope with this changing world. So that's my notes of the nomad. I'm doing well. I'm now ensconced in a family a relative's home. And as I said, they've been very generous allowing me to stay here. And I'm still rowing. I'm doing uh, just over 100 kilometers a week so far, which keeps me uh, at least 
feeling healthy. So with that, I'll say adios and hope you have uh, lots of fun and wishing you lots of love and laughter and looking to lifelong learning if you aren't already doing it. Adios. Bye for now.